In this video, I'm going to be talking about the weight bearings and crutches, walkers, and how to walk with them and how you can assist your patient. Okay, so with the weight bearing, the full weight bearing, a person can stand up on their own. They don't need no assistance. They can hold their own weight up. Partial weight bearing is when someone can hold half their weight up, but they probably need some assistance standing up and getting to their feet. And no weight bearing is when someone can't lift up by themselves. They need help. <clears throat> They can't hold their self up by their self. They need someone to help them get to a walker or a wheelchair or something. Okay, so with the crutches, it needs to be 1 to 1.5 inches between the top of the armrest and the armpit so that it doesn't hurt when it sits right there. And all the weight needs to be on the hand rest part, putting your weight on the hands, not under the armpit. And the hand grip should go at the top of the hip line. That's how you know they're the right height. And so the two-point gait is when you move the right crutch forward and your left foot together forward. And then you move the left crutch and the right foot forward. So the four-point gait is when you move the right crutch and then the left foot and then the left crutch and then the right foot. And you keep doing that and then the three-point gait is when you move both crutches and the injured foot together and then you bring the non-injured foot forward so the swing to method is when you move both crutches forward and then you swing your feet up but the feet land like where the crutches are so then you keep doing that again and your feet land where the crutches are so the swing through method is when you Put both crutches forward and then you swing your feet forward over past where the crutches are and then you do that over again so then going upstairs you would want to use your good leg to go first up the stair with the crutch and then going downstairs you want to lose your bad leg going first with crutches and sitting down you would just make sure your back of your feet touch the chair and you can slowly ease yourself down to the chair and move your crutches over to the side so you have them when you get back up. And with a cane, the cane must be adjusted to fit properly. It should be um, like if your arm is laying flat, it should be like at your wrist. When, if your arm's laying by your side, it should be about that tall to know if it's the right height or not. And it should always be standing on the weak side of the patient when you're, like, helping them use their cane for the first time. And the cane needs to be on the strong side of the patient. So they need to hold the cane on their strong side when they're walking with it. And... You move the cane forward when you move your weak side, and then you bring your strong side forward when you're using the cane. And so with a walker, it should be about the same height as it should be at your wrist line if your hand's dangling down. And you should stand on the weak side when you're helping them try to walk with the walker for the first time. And when they're walking just make sure they look forward and they're not looking at their feet because they're going to fall they try to look at their feet and walk together and the back tips so a walker has four points and the back ones should be in the middle of the patient's feet so that's like where they start and when they start they move it forward and have four points sitting right here and then they move their weak side first and then their strong side and they put the weight on the grips of the um to hold on the hand grips to hold yourself up when they're bringing their um strong side forward or their weak side sorry and when you're sitting down in a walker into a chair, you make sure you can feel the um, back of the chair with your feet, or not your feet, your legs, and um, extend the 
weak leg out and bend the strong leg. And then you can just sit down and move the walker to the side. And you do the same thing when you're trying to stand back up. 